Once upon a time, there was a princess named Violet. Violet was a had princess she had her hair right on top of her head like you have your hair right now two pigtails always tied together and she liked the color blue even her shoes were blue sometimes and some people thought hey violet you're wearing this blue sh- sh- the blue uh dress again and you wear that yesterday what they didn't know was that she had a whole closet full of blue dresses because she was a princess she could decide what she wanted When she heard that there was a, a mermaid, she thought she saw a mermaid out in, the, out in the water. She couldn't be sure what it was, but she decided to find out. So she borrowed a boat from a fisherman, and she paddled out there looking for the mermaid. And she could see like a shape following her in the water. It's like a little shadow. And she'd keep looking over, and then it would be gone. And she, she'd think she saw a shadow out of the corner. And she'd look over, and it would be gone. But she couldn't tell what it was. It was just some sort of shape. So she had to. She wanted to find out more. She had to sneak down to the beach, just so there was a little way she could go around the outside of the castle. And some old steps. They were kind of slippery, because water used to wash up on them and salt, and they were sort of worn away. But she had to sneak down to the beach because her mom was always worried about three things mainly: pirates crabs, and sand. And when her mom was really worried, she about worried about sandy pirate crabs. <laughs> or sometimes <laughs> crabby pirates. <laughs> yeah. So one day, she saw the fishermen. He, they were hauling in their nets, and their nets were all empty. And they were angry. The fishermen were mad. They were cursing. Ah, where's our fish? And they were mad because it looked like something or somebody had cut holes in the nets to let the fish out. So she was swimming out to a little island, right, that's off the coast. She's already snuck out of the house and down to the beach where her mom didn't want to go because of the crabby pirates and the pirate crabs. Riptide. And a riptide came along. A riptide is like this water. All of a sudden, the water's rushing out to sea, and you can't swim against it. And it starts pulling her under. Like, she's just, she just couldn't swim anymore. She got tired. She's pulling under. And all of a sudden, the mermaid appears. Now, the mermaid is sort of has a face and body kind of like her age. She looks a lot like her. Like, she, they could be cousins or something. The mermaid appears, and she holds Violet's hand. And all of a sudden, Violet can breathe underwater. She's she's not drowning. She's suddenly underwater with a mermaid. So they started to look around. They they hid behind a rock while a killer whale swam by. Big killer whale swimming by real slowly. And the mermaid said the killer whales were the one kind of the most dangerous thing out in the ocean. So she had to be really careful. The mermaid, you know, the mermaid knew about the ocean because where did she live? In the ocean. In the ocean. What sound does a killer whale make? Okay. They swam by a coral reef. You know what a coral reef is? Mm. It's like these little formations underwater made out of tiny, tiny little animals that all form together. Mm. And if she went by a form a coral reef, and Violet found all the perfect shells to make this beautiful necklace that she swung around, that hung around her neck. And she brought it home and she gave it to her mom because she knew her mom would be mad because she went, went out to, you know, go to the beach with the crabby sand pirates. And then they saw a manta ray. Do you know what a manta ray is? Mm-hmm. It's like a big underwater thing. Uh-huh. And it was swimming by. And um, the mermaid taught Violet how to grab onto its back, and they rode on the back of the man. Did they was, touch the tail? They stayed away from it. It was, it was one of the wasn't one of the poisonous kind. And they got on it, and they, it was like it was like flying on the back of an eagle, but underwater. And then Violet suddenly she notices the mermaid is wearing a little earring just like hers. It was had a, had a little a silver hoop with a pearl and then a little green emerald on the end. And the mermaid had one just like it. 
or just like this one that, that Violet had found on the beach a few days before. They had the exact same one. And the mermaid explained to her that, you know, that this that it was, had a special significance. And that if they wore the same earring, they each wore one of the same set of earrings, they could switch places. Like, Violet could go down and be a mermaid and swim around, and the mermaid could go up on land and live Violet's life. So they could each enjoy being in each other's world, whatever they want. And so, that's what they did all the time. They were always switching back and forth. And they had to be really careful so that no one figured out that the mermaid wasn't Violet. But they also got to spend a lot of time together and play. And Violet got older and took care of the kingdom because she became queen and she made sure that nobody harmed the mermaids and they took care of the ocean from then on. And that is the end. And the mermaid makes sure of that too. Yeah, the mermaid. Can I do another one? No, it's too